Okay, uh, so in this uh, series of videos, what I've been doing is just sort of outlining the, um, the costs of a solar and now a wind turbine uh, hybrid system, what the costs are, what your return on investment is, and, um, and what do you get out of it? Um, what does it include in a whole breakdown? So we talk about wind... Your and I have a video up about solar versus wind, and uh, I think this this is going to show you <laughs> in dollars and cents why I've said, uh, and most people would say, wind is inferior to sun in terms of economics. Wind, uh, however, is fun. It's more of a hobby uh, for many of us, unless you do live in one of those wind belt, you know, parts of the country where it really does pay off. Um, I don't, unfortunately. So I'm going to give you my breakdown of the costs and my capacity of my hybrid. I'm sorry, I'm just covering the wind, this um, turbine system. Okay, and there's obviously much more expensive systems and less expensive systems. So, but we're just going to go over mine. Um, so here we go. This is my uh, wind turbine system capacity cost. Now, the capacity, it's a 400 watt turbine. You know, and I get it, you know, uh, you know, technically you can blow 24 hours a day. So, yeah, in theory, you could get 9,600 watts of uh, energy a day. That would be very unlikely. Um, in reality, realistically, what I get where I live is 350 to 450 watts per day. Now, it does supplement. There's some, you know, so this isn't completely fair comparison. When the, when the sun's not out, this get picks up when the, where the sun leaves off in many times. Because when the sun's not out, many times it's storming. And when it's storming, you got wind. So, uh, But anyway, here, here you go. So I've just got, um, you know, I'm a beginner. So I wasn't going to spend a lot of money on, uh, on some of the better ones. Well, this is a pretty good one. Um, I picked up the WinMax 400. It's technically, it's the WinMax HY400. I get the 400 watt series. Kind of wish I had a higher watt one now because... You know, I do a whole lot better for virtually a similar sized system. Um, but here you go. Um, oh, I still have up. Uh, yeah, disregard. Disregard what I've written under that because that that was from the uh, the the sun, uh, my my panels. But um, where I picked this turbine up, the Windmax um, on Amazon. It was five hundred dollars. It actually included a charge controller, so you don't need to buy that. But you know their charge controllers are not great, so I did pick up um, a better charge controller. But I'm just assuming right now we're just strictly grid tying. So the next thing, so first you got five hundred dollars for the actual turbine, um, and, and it will include a um, the the uh, charge controller too. Then uh, you're going to need a three phase, or I need a three phase brake switch. Pick that up at Missouri Wind and Solar. It's a really great store. Um, and the three-phase uh, disconnect brake. Um, in fact, this is a quick picture of it. It'll break it, meaning sl stop the turbine or slow it from spinning and disconnect it. Uh, lots of cool things. Anyway, that um, was $57. Then you've got, um, you need to rectify... Um, mine's a three-phase AC, so you got to rectify that back into DC. Picked up a 90-amp three-phase rectifier. Also, Missouri Wind and Solar, and that was just 20 bucks. Then you're going to need a DC breaker or fuse. So I just needed a 50-amp for mine, a DC. It's 35 bucks at my local electronics store. So there's $35.00. Then cable and wiring, I had to buy 100 feet. My run's 100 feet um, from the turbine to my garage where my control panels are. So that was $1.29 a foot, so 100 feet. You're talking 129 bucks. So my total was $741. Um, now, here's the math. I'm only producing 400 watts give it average a day times 30 days. I'm producing 12,000 watts a month, um, put it in a kilowatts, just 12 kilowatts a month. So my savings is 12 kilowatts times 23 cents um, a kilowatt, and um, 
for where I live. So that savings is a little under three bucks a month. Times twelve months, you're talking to just a mere thirty-three dollars a year. So the ROI on this, you can do it right. You do the math: seven hundred forty-one dollars cost of my system. Divide by that my savings. That means in twenty-two years, this thing pays for itself. So obviously, for me, this is not. I'm not doing it for economics. The other reasons we do this stuff isn't is also um, just the whole freedom. Of not uh, of of being able to produce wind when you, when you need I mean power when you need to from various sources whether it be hydro wind in this case or sun um, so I don't want to discourage anyone from buying these things just because of the costs um, plus you may live in an area where it really is feasible and lastly I only have a 400 watt wind turbine so. That same 20, 30, 20 mile an hour or 10 mile an hour wind with a 40, 400 watt turbine is going to produce a whole lot wattage for a not a much larger in size turbine. You can get a, you know, an 800 or 1,000 watt turbine and produce a whole lot more. That'd bring down your ROI considerably, even where I live. Um, so if I had it to do over again, I'd probably pick up a higher... Um, watt turbine. I'd probably go with an eight or a thousand watt turbine. In fact, I may switch it out and sell this one on Amazon and pick up a bigger one later. But anyway, that gives you the breakdown on uh, the costs of all this stuff, starting with my solar, etc. Um, I think I've covered it all. I think about the only thing I didn't include in my cost analysis here are some minor, miscellaneous, unnecessary things like. Um, you know, my bus bars. That cost me about 50 bucks for this, these bus bars. You don't need them. You can connect directly to the battery posts, but clearly a bus bar is, uh, you know, is a lot cleaner and you don't have 8 million um, terminal rings on your battery posts. And I also didn't factor in, I've got uh, some transfer switches. I, I forget what this cost. It wasn't that cheap. It wasn't also that expensive. I'm going to say 50, 60 bucks. But what this allows me to do is just some other fun stuff. I could take my power that right now is coming from the sun and send it right to the batteries to charge up my batteries. Or I can go back and you hear that fan kicking? That's my grid tie. And send that power that's being produced right now by the sun directly to the grid. Um, meaning you know, for use in my house. Um, so anyway, that's it, and uh, please post any comments, questions, and, and again, guys, this stuff's all estimates, you know, I'm not, uh, I mean, I'm sure someone's going to tell me, oh, you didn't factor this in, or, um, you know, there are a lot of variables in this stuff. I'm just trying to give you my, from a beginner standpoint, my best um, estimates here on costs, production, and return on investment. I um, hope this helps some of you guys out there that are just getting started or looking to get started. Um, and uh, anyway, thanks.